Hello and thanks for stopping by. We are Inspirited Nudges and our aim is to help you when you're feeling the nudge from spirit but aren't sure what it means for you. This channel concentrates on spiritual meanings, dream interpretations and other signs in your life that your spirit guides are trying to show you. Some of our videos are quite long, but for most of them you can just listen to them rather than having to watch them. There's lots of information and I recommend you listen all the way to the end to get the most out of them. So, without further ado, let's play today's video. Contacting your spirit guides for beginners. Introduction I believe in the existence of spirit guides and often communicate with mine to get answers to some of my challenging situations. It sounds like something that would be difficult to achieve, but it's actually not. It just takes some practice and, for some people, some guidance from people who already do it. That's what this video is about, being able to recognize when you're able to communicate with your spirit guides. I'll take you through why it's good to be able to contact your spirit guides, how to know when they're trying to communicate with you, and how you can initiate the connection with them. I'll talk about how to protect yourself from other entities that might pretend to be your guides, as well as how to make sure you don't forget what you want to ask them when you do make contact. I'll give you some different meditation techniques you can try if you want to have a deeper interaction with your guides, as well as give you some ways to help you interpret the messages you get from them. Finally, I'll give you some tips on how to build a long-lasting, deep and meaningful relationship with your spirit guides. You won't always hear your spirit guides talking to you directly, and many people get despondent when they're trying to get guidance in this way and don't get any. But this is because your spirit guides communicate in many different ways, almost none of which you will actually hear as words. But as you learn more about contacting your spirit guides in their way, you'll become more attuned to their messages and be able to decipher the weird and wonderful synchronicities they place in front of you. The importance of contacting your spirit guides. When you connect with your spirit guides, it can provide you with a sense of peace and direction. Your spirit guides are here to help you fulfill your life's purpose and help you to overcome obstacles along the way. When you communicate with your spirit guides, you can gain a deeper understanding of your path through life and the steps you need to take in order to achieve your goals. Communicating with your spirit guides is also an essential part of your spiritual journey. Your spirit guides are here to provide you with guidance, wisdom, support, and lessons that can help you navigate through life with direction and purpose. When you connect with your spirit guides, you can tap into a wealth of guidance that can offer you comfort, protection, and hope. One of the most important reasons for communicating with your spirit guides is to gain clarity about decisions you're facing in your life. Your spirit guides can offer you insights and perspectives that you may not have considered before and can help you make better decisions and take positive steps forward. They can also help you to understand the lessons and challenges that you are facing as well as why you might be facing them and they can provide you with the support and encouragement you need to overcome them. Another important aspect of communicating with your spirit guides is the comfort and protection they can offer to you. Your spirit guides are always watching over you and they can help shield you from negative energies and harmful influences around you. They can also provide you with a sense of comfort and peace during difficult times, which in turn will help you feel more grounded, calm and centred. Learning about contacting your spirit guides is an important part of your spiritual development, as well as just being a nice skill to have. 
by opening yourself up to their guidance and wisdom, you can deepen your connection to the spiritual realm and gain a greater understanding of your place in the universe. Recognizing the presence of spirit guides. Your spirit guides may communicate with you in various different weird and wonderful ways. They might use signs or symbols, or even just feelings. You'll need to keep an open mind and be receptive to their messages, which very well may come in some rather unexpected ways. When you learn to recognize the presence of your spirit guides, you can start to build a deeper connection with them and learn to trust their guidance. Recognizing their presence can also help you to discern whether the messages you're receiving truly are from your guides or whether they're from your own subconscious or another entity that's trying to lead you astray. Here's a few ways to recognize the presence of your spirit guides. Inner knowing. One of the most common ways that spirit guides communicate is through your own intuition. You might feel a strong sense of knowing or a gut feeling that seems to come from outside of yourself. You'll just intuitively know the answer to a question or some situation. This inner knowing can be a powerful tool for connecting with your spirit guides. If you're not sure whether a particular feeling or thought is coming from your spirit guides, then a good thing to ask yourself is whether it feels loving, supportive, and positive. If the answer is that it does, then it's likely that your spirit guides are communicating with you. If it doesn't, then it's not from your spirit guides and can be dismissed. Sparks of light. Another common sign of the presence of spirit guides can be the appearance of sparks of light. These might appear as small flashes of light in your peripheral vision or as larger and more noticeable sparks of light that seem to float in the air. These sparks will usually occur after you've asked your guides to be present and they'll be different from the normal floaters or sparks before your eyes that you might get if you move your head too fast. Do be aware, though, that if they appear for no reason or there's any pain dizziness or something just doesn't feel right. Then you should consult a doctor to rule out a medical condition first. If there's no medical reason for these sparks of light, then they can be a sign that your spirit guides are with you and trying to communicate with you. If you notice this happening, take a moment and try and tune in to see if you can sense any messages or guidance from your spirit guides. Recognizing signs like these is one of the easiest ways of contacting your spirit guides. Free writing after meditation. If you're having trouble recognizing the presence of your spirit guides, you can try doing some free writing after a meditation session. This involves sitting quietly and meditating for a few minutes and then picking up a pen and paper to write down whatever comes to mind. This can be a powerful way to connect with your spirit guides and receive guidance and messages from them. Don't worry about grammar or spelling. Just write down whatever comes into your mind. You may be surprised at the insights and guidance that come through. When you pay attention to these signs and sensations, you will begin to recognize the presence of your spirit guides and will be able to open up channels of communication with them. Remember that your spirit guides are always with you and they want to help and support you in any way they can. Trust in their presence and guidance and you'll be amazed at the many positive changes that can come into your life. And as you become more used to talking with them, you'll be able to do so at will, whenever and wherever you are. How to connect with your spirit guides. Recognizing their presence is only half the battle, though. Being able to connect with your spirit guides at will can be a deeply moving and affirming experience. It can help you gain clarity, receive guidance, and feel supported on your life journey. Here are a few steps to help you connect with your spirit guides at will. 
Ask your spirit guides to be present. This might sound obvious or silly, but it's the very best way to communicate with your spirit guides. There's no pomp and ceremony. You don't need to be in a special mood or place. You just need a little corner of the world that, for the time being, you can call your own and that you can sit quietly in relative comfort and literally ask your spirit guides to come forward. When you feel that they are with you, recognizing those signs I spoke about earlier, then you can ask them whatever it is that you need. I often talk to my guides while I'm in bed settling in for the night just before I fall asleep. It's a conversation rather than a ritual. Okay, so I don't hear their answers, but I do feel them throughout the conversation and sometimes into the next day, especially if I've asked for a sign or an answer to something that's been bugging me. If you prefer something a little more formal or in-depth, you can do this through meditation or prayer instead. Only call in guides of love, truth and compassion. When calling in your spirit guides, it is important to only invite in those entities who come from a place of love, truth and compassion. You can do this by stating your intention to only work with guides who are aligned with your highest good or by visualizing a protective shield around yourself that only allows in positive and loving energy. This will help ensure that you are connecting with guides who have only your highest good in mind. Once you become more familiar with how your spirit guides feel, you'll quickly recognize when someone has arrived who isn't one of them. And using some of the tools I'll talk about in another video, you'll be able to get rid of them if you're not comfortable. With all that said though, connecting with your spirit guides is a powerful and transformative experience. By setting a clear intention, focusing your attention, and inviting only loving, supportive energy, you can create a deep and meaningful connection with your guides. As you get to know them better and communicate with them more often, you'll discover the wealth of support and knowledgeable assistance they can give you. Make a list. Having set the right intention, but before speaking to your spirit guides, it can be useful to make a list of questions or areas in your life where you would like guidance at this time. This will help you focus your intention and give your spirit guides something specific to work with. This is probably more important in the early stages of learning to communicate with your spirit guides because you'll forget things. As you progress, you'll realize it doesn't really matter because as you advance in your practice, you'll just ask them like you'd ask someone who's present in the 3D world anyway. You can of course also ask just for general guidance or simply ask your guides to reveal themselves to you in a way that is meaningful and clear. Contacting your spirit guides through meditation. Meditation is a powerful tool to connect with your spirit guides. It helps you to focus your mind, relax your body, and open up to receive guidance and clarity. There are different types of meditations that you can practice to communicate with your spirit guides. In this section, I'll explore just three of them. OM meditation, guided meditation, and journaling meditation. OM meditation. OM meditation is a simple and effective way to connect with your spirit guides. It involves chanting the sound OM repeatedly while focusing on your breath. This meditation helps you to clear your mind, calm your emotions, and raise your vibration. To practice OM meditation, find a quiet and comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Sit in a cross-legged position or on a chair with your back straight and your hands on your knees. Make sure you're relatively comfortable because you don't want your legs to go numb while meditating. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax your body. Start chanting OM slowly and steadily, either out loud or in your mind. 
Focus your attention on the sound of OM and the sensation of your breath. If your mind wanders, you can gently bring it back to the sound of OM and your breath. Continue chanting for 10-15 minutes or as long as you feel comfortable. When you've finished, take a few deep breaths and open your eyes. I find it useful to say something like, I am finished, or it is done at the end to close down the channel. Guided meditation. Guided meditation is a great way to receive guidance from your spirit guides. It involves listening to a recorded meditation that takes you on a journey to meet your guides. This meditation helps you to visualize and connect with your guides in a safe and supportive way. And many of these are available right here on YouTube. To practice guided meditation, find a quiet and comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a comfortable position. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax your body. Play a guided meditation recording that resonates with you. Follow the instructions of the meditation and visualize yourself meeting your spirit guides. Listen to their messages and ask them any questions you have. When the meditation ends, take a few deep breaths and open your eyes. I find it helpful to speak something out loud which clarifies that the meditation and communication channel is now finished. Something like, it is done or it is finished works. Journaling meditation. Journaling meditation is a powerful way to receive clarity and guidance from your spirit guides. It involves writing down your thoughts, feelings, and questions in a journal and then allowing your guides to answer them through automatic writing. This meditation helps you to access your intuition and receive personalized guidance. If you practice this type of contact, with your spirit guides, you'll soon find that you can naturally channel their responses quickly and easily. To practice journaling meditation, find a quiet and comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Sit in a comfortable position with your journal and pen. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax your body. Ask your spirit guides a question that you would like guidance on. Open your eyes and start writing down whatever comes to your mind, without judging or censoring it. Allow your guides to speak through your writing and answer your question. When you finish, read over what you wrote and reflect on the guidance you received. We have a number of journals and books available on Amazon if you'd like a themed notebook for journaling meditation, and I'll link to some of them in the video's description. But a plain notebook works just as well. Interpreting messages from spirit guides. When communicating with your spirit guides, you'll need to know how to interpret the messages they send you. Here's some of my tips to help you understand the guidance your spirit guides are giving you. Listen. One of the most important things you can do when communicating with your spirit guides is to listen. Your guides may communicate with you through your intuition, visions or symbols, so it's important to be open and receptive to their messages. When you receive a message or a feeling from your guides, take a moment to pause and listen to or feel what it is they're telling you. Symbols that spirit guides often use to communicate with us are double numbers, which are sometimes called angel numbers. These double numbers might appear in seemingly random places at multiple times. If you see enough of them at a time, you may consider that your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you. You may see these if you ask your guides for a sign too. Ask for a sign. If you're not sure what your spirit guides are trying to tell you, then you can ask them to send you a sign. 
They may use a variety of symbols or entities to communicate with you, so be open to whatever sign they send. When you receive the sign, take a moment to reflect on its meaning and how it relates to your life. Sometimes it can be helpful for you to specify which sign you would like. For example, you may ask for an animal or bird to cross your path. When doing this, though, it's essential that you choose a creature that's unlikely, though not impossible, to cross your path. Clearly asking to see a crow as a sign when your trees outside are full of crows is silly. You see those every day, and it's not a sign. Of course, asking to see a dodo cross your path is almost impossible, at least a living one. You may be surprised, though, even the most impossible signs can sometimes show up. For example, you might see an advert on TV that involves a dodo that you've never seen before. You could then consider that a sign. At other times, you won't necessarily know what sign you want to receive. For these times, you're going to need to remain open-minded and perceptive to recognize it. As you practice this, you will become better and better at it. Pay attention. Your spirit guides may also send messages to you through synchronicities or coincidences in your life. These events may seem random, but they can actually be messages from your guides. Pay attention to the people, places and things that appear in your life as they may hold important messages for you. Indeed, I believe that the law of attraction is all about looking at synchronicities put in place by your spirit guides. Many people call it the universe that puts these things in place, but I like to think of the universe as the machine that makes everything possible. Your guides lead you to the right places at the right time to enable these things to occur. If you're not paying attention, though, you'll miss the synchronicities and you'll declare that the law of attraction does not work when in fact it very much does. Keep a journal. Similar to writing down your meditations, one of the best ways to interpret the messages from your spirit guides is to keep a journal. Write down your experiences, dreams or signs that you receive from your guides. Over time, you may start to see patterns or themes emerge that can help you better understand the guidance your guides are giving you. Very often the message you receive initially isn't all that clear or is open to interpretation. By writing it down, you'll be able to remember it more clearly and accurately and decipher the meaning later when more information comes to hand. Remember, interpreting the messages from your spirit guides takes time, practice and is highly personal. Be patient with yourself and trust that your guides are always there to help and guide you. Building a relationship with your spirit guides. Connecting with your spirit guides can be a powerful way to deepen your spiritual practice and gain insight into your life's purpose. Your guides are here to facilitate exactly that, and they can do it through providing you with the messages, or sometimes they can put things in place in the universe to help you achieve something you need. The more you practice, the stronger your relationship with your guides will become and the more each of you will get from it. Here's some tips for building a strong and meaningful relationship with your spirit guides. Do not be afraid. It is natural to feel a little uneasy or unsure when you first begin to connect with your spirit guides. However, it's important to remember that they are here to help and guide you. They are loving and supportive entities that want to see you succeed and grow. I mentioned earlier how to ensure that it's only your guides that appear when you ask for them, as opposed to other entities that may not serve you well. As you become more practiced in the art of communicating with your spirit guides, you'll instantly recognize when you're talking to something that is not one of them. The biggest thing to be afraid of is fear itself, not your guides. And remember, 
if you're treating your guides with gratefulness and respect, then they will already be working behind the scenes to keep you safe from other entities anyway. Always be grateful. Showing gratitude towards your spirit guides is essential for building a strong relationship with them. Expressing gratitude can help you to connect with their energy and show them that you appreciate their guidance. Don't confuse this with worship or adoration. Your guides don't need or want that. But they do appreciate being appreciated. So take a moment each day to thank them for their love and support. In just the same way as people themselves will do more for someone who is grateful for their help rather than taking it for granted, so will your spirit guides. Whenever you close a conversation with them, thank them for their presence and wisdom and part in love and light. Ask for their names. Asking your spirit guides for their names can help you to build a deeper connection with them. It can also make your interactions feel more personal and intimate. When you ask for their names, be open to whatever comes to you. It may be a name that you have never heard before, or it may be a name that is familiar to you. I asked my spirit guides for their names when I was around the age of 15. I remember sitting down and literally just asking them what their names were. The names just came into my head, names I had never heard of before. Years later, when the internet became available, I was an early adopter. I looked up the names of my guides. They are real names that exist in the world. This may be a controversial belief, but I also believe you should not reveal the name of your guides to anyone else. Otherwise, that other person may be able to use them for their own ends, which may not align with yours. I'm not sure if anyone else believes this, and I'd be really interested to hear your opinion in the comments section below. Connect with them regularly. Connecting with your spirit guides regularly is important for building a strong and meaningful relationship with them. In fact, connecting with them regularly is far more important than how you connect with them. Talk to them in your head often and see if you feel their presence or hear an answer. Sometimes you'll hear the answer, but in your own voice, rarely do people hear the actual voice of their spirit guides. But the idea that you need to be in a special relaxed position with smokesticks and music in order to communicate with your spirit guides is nonsense. You can form a relationship with them just by talking with them about your everyday stuff. And then sometimes, when you have a big issue you need help with, or answers to big or deep questions, well then, you can have a proper full-on meditation to discuss it. Remember, building a relationship with your spirit guides takes time and effort. But with patience, love and respect, you can develop a deep and meaningful connection with these powerful entities. Open your heart and allow their love and guidance to transform your life. In summary, communicating with your spirit guides can be a powerful tool in your spiritual growth and personal development. By tapping into the wisdom and guidance of your guides, you can gain knowledge and truth about your reality and human experience and work through any wounds or challenges you may be facing. Your spirit guides will pervade your entire life if you let them, and you should, and they can even help you overcome challenges from your past lives. As you begin to communicate with your spirit guides, you are likely to receive messages in a variety of ways, such as through intuition, dreams, or signs and synchronicities. It is important to trust your own inner wisdom and to be open to the guidance and support that your guides are offering you. Remember that communicating with your spirit guides is a journey, not a destination, and that it will take time and practice to develop a strong and meaningful connection. But with patience, persistence, 
and an open heart, you can tap into the wisdom and guidance of your guides and experience greater spiritual growth and personal transformation. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you've made it to the end here, please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel too, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything when we release new videos. You can visit us at www.inspiritednudges.com if you prefer to read about these things. And if you've any questions, please do leave a comment below and I'll try to reply to you promptly. Thanks for watching. Listen for those nudges and have a really great day.